I've got this video series discussing the color temperature of fire, and I wanted to take a minute to discuss the color temperature of the sun. Now what we perceive as the color of the sun is usually drawn by children in pictures as yellow or, or maybe orange at sunset, and that's when you can look directly at the sun. But that's not the color of the sun. Our sun is classified as a yellow star, and that's because the brightest color it produces is yellow. So if we block out with the neutral filter most of the light, it appears yellow. And that's a bit of what happens when uh, you see the sun at sunset. But take a look at this white sheet of paper. It's white because it's reflecting all colors of light. I've got a floodlight here, which I can change the color of with this remote control, so I can make it red, I can make it green, I can make it blue, I can make it mixtures of those colors to do other things. So let me give you a second, I'm going to run and turn off the lights in the room, and I'll show you what that does to the paper. Alright, the lights are off. So when I have this light set on white mode, on the white piece of paper it looks white. If I make the light so it produces only red, the paper looks red, or green, or blue, or mixtures of these colors to do all sorts of things. Let's hit the strobe mode. So if we want to know the color of the sun, we need to take a white sheet of paper out in the sunlight and figure out what color it is. Let's go. We hold this white sheet of paper out in the sunlight and it's white. So that means the sun is white. So if the sun is white, why do kids always draw it as yellow or orange or red? That's because the only time you can look directly at the sun, or close, is at sunset, when the Earth's atmosphere is filtering out most of the blue light and the brighter things. But even there, it could be a little dangerous to stare for too long, so don't look directly at the sun.